There's an old saying that goes, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. This is true of Sophia Cicely Jules, the owner of Infinity Designs Inc. But it wasn't always so. Together with her sisters, she learned to crochet at the age of eight. They also learned embroidery and helped each other hone their skills in that area. The sisters would often help their seamstress aunt hemming garments and sewing on buttons. But not once did Sophia ever entertain the idea of a career in sewing or fashion. If you pick your fingers a few hundred times, you're not going to like the profession. But um, one day, because of what I was going through in life, I asked God to give me something to do that I would enjoy doing it and I would make an income out of it to take care of my family and myself. And I woke up one morning and it was downloaded into my system. In 1993, she made the bold decision to go back to school to learn basic sewing. She also registered and established her business, Infinity Design Inc., where she does everything from designing to mending clothing. Some persons walk in here and have an idea as to what they want. So when they explain what they want to me, I sketch for them to exact specifications of the piece that they would like done. Some persons have no style, depending on where they tell me they go in. I sketch something from them from my little head, and they are always please. I do a lot of um, color coordinated pieces, what we call block pieces. Um, I do a lot of that for persons. I do it to sell, but I don't get a chance to hang them up. That's because no sooner does she complete the design than they are snatched up by family or friends. Most of her early clients were women and children, but over the years she has learned to sew for men. She also makes pre-designed school uniforms for sale at a Chaussee Road workshop. In 2010, with the help of the Caribbean Development Bank, she was able to travel to St. Vincent to undergo training in soft furnishings manufacture. I learned to do in English style drapery, um, throw pillows, soft pillows, cushion covers, um, bedding, comforters, yeah. And I saw for men as well. Ultimately, Sophia hopes to have a business become a household name and to be known not just for making clothing for women, children or even men, but also for soft furnishings and upholstery. Her biggest challenge is her health, which sometimes forces her to close down her shop for weeks on end. Her plan is to hopefully train someone to take over the business side of her operation so she can focus on the creative aspects of her enterprise. She remains optimistic that with hard work and God's help, it will come together one stitch at a time. For the DBS News World, Melissa Paul reporting.